to uh, continue uh, in the vein of what you have just said about racial profiling. Do you consider that there's a difference if the random tests are done in fixed, determined places rather than if they're carried out spontaneously by a police officer who suddenly feels that, that uh, perhaps enough of has rather uh, that that's been given some warning rather than somebody who's being systematically stopped at a particular place. When, uh, Justice Sapinka joined in the Hufsky case. He uh, said that he didn't oppose random uh, ride programs stopping everybody. And then when it was extended to the one individual police officer stopping on a random basis, he suddenly said this is the last straw for civil liberty. So I think there's a difference. But there's absolutely, assuming that uh, the, the more obvious one is when you've got an advertised ride program and the police are all around the place and they're stopping, it looks like they're stopping everyone. What's the, what's the protection if in fact that's not true, that they're actually picking on groups? Uh, without the test of reasonable suspicion, there's no charter argument at all. If I may, in the brief that you sent us, it's interesting because the English version, and I don't... New unrestricted breath screening power will be used by some officers against racial and other vulnerable groups. Uh, dans la version française, uh, in the French version, it, it, well, the translation isn't quite the same. So, can you tell me what brings you to that determination that we should expect that this would result in abuses and in racial profiling by police officers? On, on what uh, experience or, or on what data do you make that statement? Yes. Uh, herself raised the issue of racial dis discrimination in these new laws, but she expressed, uh, I think, to your committee that she was confident in our law enforcement officers that they will abide by the law. My response to that is based on the huge data that arises in carding practices, which are based on the same idea, that trust the police, they won't pick on people who are vulnerable groups. They definitely have. We, the most recent, I, I could have cited, uh, I apologize for the short brief that I wrote. I, I had a few uh, typos because I was marking at the same time 100 exams. It makes you feel brain dead. Anyhow, um, the. Uh, I think that I could have given you about 10 different studies now to indicate that there's uh, uh, carding practices result in picking on vulnerable groups. The, what, the one most recent one is the Ontario Human Rights Commission profiling as daily reality for many Ontarians, 2017. So I, I would just suggest that. It's not that, you know, like, um, I, I, I edit a criminal reports, national criminal reports series. Uh, we get... Uh, at this time of year, we, I, I personally get across my desk 350 or so case judgments in English. I have yet to see any judgment on, ra on the uh, interpretation of reasonable suspicion, which is so clearly anti-police. But there are some examples when there were no reasonable suspicion whatsoever and the, the case has been thrown out. And so... Um, I think the judges are, are familiar with it. It comes across their desk um, on a daily basis. Um, and I think that just like uh, I, I'm opposed to an arbitrary search power, you know, we don't have arbitrary strip powers, we don't have arbitrary bre uh, breath test powers yet, I don't think we should. And I think there's a danger that some, as I was very careful to say that I, I've seen uh, in the year that I was in practice in Toronto, I could see what happens when some a defense counsel raises the issue of race. Uh, it completely poisons the case. Everybody gets defensive, and I don't blame the police officer for getting defensive. But I, it's just to say that there's, uh, in the a reported case law, there's lots and lots of cases which would indicate that sometimes police officers trying to do their job and catch the bad guys pick on people who are vulnerable. And it's going to make a 
much, much more difficult to uh, review if there's no standard of reasonable suspicion for a screening device. Thank you. Senator Bois-Venu, suivi du Senator Carignan.